Sky. Hello. What are you doing? You're supposed to be coming out to use the toilet, not to eat snow. This is going to make you need a wee more. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been it's been a while. It's been a long time. Um, I've not uploaded <gasps> since. All right. I kind of I'm giving a little bit of a spoiler away. Um, but uh, no, it's been a while. I've not uploaded since maybe November. Um, there's reasons and stuff for that. We'll get into that. So this is just going to be a you know welcome back to the channel and where we've been kind of vlog um, and what's coming up. So. To start off with, one of the biggest things which you'll have seen in the intro, if I've edited it correctly, is that me and Emily have uh, expanded the family ever so slightly. Let's see where she is. Sky! Hello! Hello! You coming to say hi? Hello! Oh dear, that's very close. So this is Sky. She is a Siberian Husky, and she is four months old, and we've had her for about two months now. Um, and as you can see by the fact that she's ripping Emily's arm off, she can be a bit of a bit of a handful. Um, but but doesn't mean we don't love her. So we're uh, we're just getting ready now to go on a walk, um, because if I can show you out of this window on the stairs here. I don't know how well that's coming through with the light and everything, but it's snowing quite very heavily as well. So um, she's seen snow a little bit near Christmas, um, but only once, I think. So she quite likes it. And I've been trying to get her to go out in the snow for a wee for about three hours. And every time she goes, she's like, oh, I'm so desperate for a wee. And then I open the door and then she doesn't go for a wee because she's so excited for the snow. And all she does is eat the snow. So then she just... It, melts in her tummy and then she just needs to wee more. Um, so, structure of this video. Intro now, then we're going to do a walk with Sky. Then when we get back, I'm going to head upstairs because I can no longer record at this table because Sky is a nightmare. Um, we have a home office set up upstairs. So we're gonna, I'm going to film up there, I'm going to show you that. Uh, we're going to talk about what's coming up on the channel and, and some of the things that have happened in the last couple of months. Hello, are you going to say hello? Are you too busy eating your harness? I don't have to, I think. Why don't you, uh, why don't you promote your Instagram, Sky? Why don't you promote your Instagram? I have Instagram. It's good and people follow. So yeah, Emily's just going to get her ready. I'm going to get myself ready. Now, um, just to recap on that, Sky does actually have an Instagram account. So um, it's uh, Sky Bell Husky and it's completely endorsed by the Skimble Scamble brand. So um, make sure you follow her. I'll leave all the links down in the description. Uh, but yeah, we're heading on a walk, so see you out there. Hey guys, so we're out and about now on the walk. And as you can probably tell, lockdown's in key swing as I look like a bit of a Yeti. Uh, with my beard and my hat through my long hair. But we're out and about. Um, and Sky, where is she? She's destroying a snowman. I don't know if you can even see that. Probably look like an old man. I've only recorded on my phone. Um, so I can't flip the camera or anything. I need to get a vlogging camera, really, if anyone has any recommendations. So yeah, so Sky, four month old husky puppy. We got her at seven weeks. And we've had her for about two, nearly three months now. Um, yeah, and she's the grumpiest little so-and-so in the world, isn't she? Yeah. Um, she loves to bite us they're quite a mouthy dog and she's teething so she's learning um but you know it can be a bit painful sometimes um <laughs> what's she doing where is she she got someone's tennis ball she's a scrounger that's what she is she's a scavenger um so what does she eat she eats normal dog food i guess i don't know what you're expecting um for treats, she loves banana. I hate banana, I can't stand it, which makes me feel sick, chopping it up for her. But Emily loves it, so whenever Emily's eating a banana or having it with, like, I don't know, some Nutella or something, she's going mental for it. 
um, and she loves my yogurt as well, my natural Greek style yogurt that you know I buy nicely for myself and have with some jam and some oats and stuff, which is a bit weird, but yeah, she eats that. How dare she? We've um, both got a share now. No, I'm not sharing my yogurt with her. What are you doing? Stop eating snow. Um, and she likes turkey, so that's the trifecta: uh, banana, yogurt, and turkey. Um, so we're just walking around our neighbourhood now. Uh, just gone down the back path, which normally is a bit too muddy, but with the snow and the cold weather, it's a little bit frozen over, so it's fine. Um, and we're going to head to field a field near the local shop, um, which isn't entirely closed in, but it's mostly closed in. Um, and we've taken her, taken her off lead twice there now. And uh, she's getting better, she's quite good. She, I, we've not had any problems yet and she comes back, so you know, you've just got to do these things. We've got her a collar and she's tagged, chipped. So, um, yeah, we'll see you there and you'll see us running around in the snow and probably falling over. Hey guys, so um, we just got back, as you can see, we got a little bit snowed off. It started a bit heavier after we were on the field. Hey! Okay. Hey doll. She loved it, she had a great time. We had a little bit of an issue with one of the dogs. Um, he wasn't very friendly towards her, but the owner was very nice and very understanding and moved him away, so we had a good time, didn't we, kid? She wants a nap. Now, a nap and some food. My beard is wet through. Um, so it's about lunchtime. So I think we might grab some lunch, grab Sky some lunch, and then I'll head upstairs to the office um, and show you around there and have a bit of a chat. He's sorting because Autumn's currently up here. I think she's out and about. Autumn, our hamster. Yeah. She's just running around and um, having a good time. Got Sky's bed up here for when she does come up here and sleep with me. But she does it's up here and not downstairs normally because she eats it all the time. So she doesn't actually <laughs> sleep in it very much. Uh sofa bed that pulls out and this needs some juggling around before the sofa bed can pull out, but it does fit, trust me. Some throws, some scratch posters, Emily's top hundred books, and then I've got a hundred dates. I'm wanting to get the hundred video games and all the hundred movies one. And then a scratch map for um, the world for places you've been. I don't know if you know what a scratch map is, but it's basically like a lottery ticket type thing. So you just scratch it off when you've seen the book, uh, read the book or seen the film or anything. Nice mirror. And then this is the setup. So we've got a nice view with Barry the Bonsai. He doesn't do very well. Um, so I've got my laptop here. Uh, and as you can see, we're about to be filming in a minute on a laptop prop stand thing to keep it stood up. So it's just like a second screen. This keyboard is now not used because I've got this keyboard 
Um, I've also got my mouse that I got for my birthday, um, which the eyes light up, and I think it's incredible. Um, so that goes there. Lamp, blah, blah, blah. Drinks, extension socket. And then we've got the uh, uh, main monitor there with my headphones. So let's switch over to this camera. So, hey guys. I um, forgot to get my microphone out. I was just in the cupboard there. So um, that's another part of my setup. Uh, so now we're going to get on to the, uh, the main part of the vlog now. Um, so, well, is this a vlog? I don't know. Is this a vlog? Right, we're going to start off and I'm going to apologise for being on and not loading to my YouTube channel. There's many reasons for this. Um, I'm going to go through them now. First thing, things first, you met Sky. Um, we got Sky seven weeks old at the end of November, and she is was was is was a handful. Um, so yeah, she she can be a little bit of a handful, and you know it's difficult to get away to record long sessions for Minecraft and things like that. Um, but now she's a lot better. She's mostly toilet trained. We only have accidents when she's a lot of snow um, and things like that. So she could be up here with me now. I'm recording and Emily can look after her longer because she's a lot better uh, on her own um, so that's one thing another thing is that um, before Christmas um, we actually lost two members of our family um, Emily's dad and Emily's grandma um, one to cancer and one to uh, Covid so that was quite a hard time for the family for Emily specifically um, and then to top it all off on, to on top of that uh, Emily only went and got COVID. Um, so she was off work, obviously. Uh, she's a school teacher and um, she had it. She had a, She didn't just like have a cough and we thought she had it. She had a test. She came back positive. Um, I, got, I got some symptoms on one day. So I went for a test and I came back negative. So we think that I was just, you know, tired or a little bit run down or something. But I never got it. Emily had it. And we literally like, we thought we're, we're isolating anyway. I've got to isolate because I'm a close contact with her. So we were isolating anyway. We like eat together, sleep together, like everything, live in the same house. And... I never got it, so I don't know why, <laughs> but that was something that, you know, it was a big fear of mine and a big fear of Emily's for us to get it right at the beginning of all this, so it was something hard for us to deal with, and yeah, um, and then another thing, the final thing was um, that I wasn't, I wasn't able to do YouTube, I was struggling quite heavily um, with mental health problems, um, I've actually just finished up a, a course of counselling um, through work actually so I have to say thank you for that um, and I won't go into any specifics but struggling for a while and you know everything going on with Covid and the loss in the family and Emily getting Covid and you know stress with Sky and stuff it got it got pretty um, pretty bad um, yeah so um, it's something that I don't see a lot of people talking about, you know, it's something we should talk about. Emily's always been a big advocate for talking about mental health, um, particularly men as well. But um, yeah, I feel like men don't talk about it a lot. So um, I just wanted to, you know, I'm not hiding anything. That's why I've been gone. I've not been in the right mindset to do it. It's one of those things where you want to do it and then you're like, oh, I've got this problem. I've got this problem. I'm stressed. I'm worried. I'm anxious. So, you know, I never got around to doing it. Um, I just do want to say a couple of thank yous. So, first and foremost, thank you to all of my friends and family uh, helping me through. Even if you didn't know it, uh, just talking to me and spending time with me is, you know, it's, well, best we can at the minute. Um, it's been helpful. It's been nice. Um, so, thank you for that. A uh, huge, massive thank you, obviously, to Emily. Get me through every single day. I don't know how. It goes without saying. I don't know how I get through days without her sometimes. And then a big thank you to you guys as well. Big community. Uh, well, big community. I'm not getting big-headed. <laughs> 150 subscribers. And people, you know, they message me. They comment and stuff like, where have you gone? What are you doing? When are you coming back? Uh, big shout-out and big thank you to everyone on the Viva Vanilla so for a start. Uh, you know, good messages in our discord and and wish me well and you know checking in on me and stuff but a, a specific shout out to isa um, and if you don't know isa is one of the members of the v for vanilla server him and rusty were talking about starting a youtube channel but i've been a bit out of the loop so i don't actually know if they have but if they have go i'll find the link and i'll put it down below and go follow them <laughs> go subscribe 
Um, but he literally messaged me loads and like I was terrible because not only am I terrible with replying to messages anyway, but with the headspace I was in and all the busyness that we were going through, I wasn't replying to messages. And um, he messaged multiple times to make sure I was okay. He was worried that when I hadn't messaged or something like physically had happened to me. Um, and he'd been so supportive and so nice. So just nice shout out for eyes of that. Um, so... That's all that. That's why I've been gone. That's where I've been. What's happened in that time? Because I've been gone. Um, what has happened in that time? We've got Sky. That's one thing. Um, I'm terrible for this. Sorry. Swinging on this chair. I've just realised normally I'm sat at the table downstairs. I'm not on a swinging chair. But literally, we Like, this is just going to be it. I'm sorry if you get motion sickness. Um, but, yeah. So we got Sky. And then Christmas happened. So, uh, what did I get for Christmas? That's the question. It was a while ago now. I've slept since then. Um, I got the uh, Marvel Avengers game. I know it's a bit late, but I got it for Xbox. My brother got me that. Emily got me a Crash Bandicoot game. Uh, I got some board games. Um, one called Planet. That's quite good. Uh, if you want to know any more about these, comment down below and I'll send you links to them. Um, and a Sherlock Holmes board game as well. We got right into board games, me and Emily. Um, and then uh, my birthday is actually uh, middle of January, so um, I uh, obviously got some birthday presents. Uh, oh, for Christmas I got a guitar, and then Emily got me a guitar book for my birthday. So I'm I'm hoping. What do you think? Putting it up here somewhere? Like I want to hang it on a wall because at the minute it's in a bag in the other room, and like it's so much effort. I know it's not effort, but it's so much effort to get it out and play. I just kind of want to like move those two onto there or move those two higher and hang it on that wall behind the sofa or hang it on that grey wall there. What do you think? Let me know. Um, but yeah, also for my birthday, I got an Oculus Quest 2 VR headset. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I've been playing Beat Saber. I've been playing Job Simulator. I've been playing Population 1, which is incredible. Um, what else have I been playing? I can't remember. Uh, a bit of... Uh, VR chat or Wrecking Room is it one of them? Uh, Echo VR, all these games, great games, would recommend. Um, if you want to know more about it again, drop a comment down below, let me know. But um, yeah, so I'm hoping that I can use that for what I'm about to talk about now. So that's what's happened in my life since I've been gone. What we're going to talk about now is the future and the future of this channel. So I think the problem I had before was that I've I. I had a lot going on, and I, I, you know, I don't blame myself for not carrying on, um, but I do blame myself for not trying. And I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dial it back a bit, but I'm gonna persist with it because I do enjoy it. I do enjoy this, and um, yeah. So instead of doing maybe four or five videos a week, which I was doing at the beginning and you know throughout, uh, maybe two, one, sometimes two. I'm gonna try for per week of different things. So it's going to be scaled back content, but hopefully it'll be better. Hopefully it'll be better than no content. Um, and then when we get to a time when I'm able to, I might scale it up and run that up. Um, so what's that going to include? Obviously V for Vanilla. I love V for Vanilla. I went on the other day just to stock up the shop, and it's the first time I've been on in 2021. But also I want to do some other Minecraft stuff. So you might have seen some of my older stuff. I've done uh, everything you need to know about, uh, which is everything you need to about certain things in Minecraft. But... I want to do a Let's Learn Redstone, because I'm not very good at Redstone. We've been talking about this for a while. I'm all right at Redstone, and I kind of get it if I'm watching a video, but like to actually understand it is very difficult. So I want to do a Let's Learn Redstone, where it's like, right, the comments have said this week I should build a piston door, a 2x2 piston door. So I build a 2x2 piston door. And it's a short video that I can do and upload, but hopefully, sure, hopefully it won't take me an hour and a half to build a 2x2 piston door. And eventually we'll get into more complicated stuff and, and then, you know, I can try my hand at some more complicated, you know, flying machines, vault doors, those kind of things. Um, way off in the future. <laughs> um, also, I want to cover a couple of other things. So I definitely want to cover some more... Uh, Game Pass games and stuff like that, carry on with some of them, drop some of the ones that I haven't done in a while, like Kingdom Hearts, but pick up some other ones. I've just downloaded the Jedi Fallen Order, is it, game? So I want to go through with that because I've not actually played it yet, that'd be good. Um, 
but also Oculus, playing some Oculus. I don't know if I'll be able to play Beat Saber because I don't know if the songs are going to get copyright striked or whatever, I don't know. But definitely Job Simulator, definitely Echo VR, Population 1 and things like that. So if you're up for that, let me know down below. Um, and also, Pokemon Go. I've been playing loads of Pokemon Go. I've been playing the heck out of it. It's it's such a good game, and I'm back well, well back into it. Walking Sky, she she needs a walk every day, obviously dogs do, but sometimes you know she's quite energetic. She's a puppy. She's a specific breed, a husky. She sometimes likes two walks a day, but we try not to. We don't want to overwalk her and damage her bones or anything. She's still young, but she might need two a day when she's you know six months or older, you know, a bit grown up. Um, so I've been walking a lot. I've been catching a lot, I've been hatching a lot. I've got to level 39 after my birthday, mid-January, so less than a month ago, and I'm already on my 1.3 million experience in level 39. I'm so annoyed I couldn't get to level 40 before the end of the year when they did the level 40 legacy stuff, but I won't talk too much about that because I'm going to do a Pokemon recap video of what's happened while, since last time I posted Pokemon, and we'll talk about that then. But that's it. That's it. We're done. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back, baby. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, sorry for being gone. I hope you can understand why. Thank you to all of those that helped me through it. Mm, I've got some cool stuff that I've got in the past couple of months. And I've got some cool stuff coming up, hopefully. Um, future of the channel. The channel specifically. We're on 150 subscribers, I think we're on 154 when I stopped uploading, we're on 150 now. We lost some, we gained some and lost some, you know, a um, couple of things. One, my Enigmagram video is on like 900 views. If you are a subscriber and watch all of my stuff and you haven't watched it, it can be, it's a bit of a long one, but watch it. I wanted to get to 1,000 views. That'd be incredible if I could get 1,000 views on something that I've done. And it is, I think it's quite funny, even though, even if, even if I do say so myself, it's just me having an absolute meltdown <laughs> um, and solving some brain puzzles and brain teasers. So uh, check that out. Secondly, if you watch this video, get a friend to subscribe if we can get all 150 subscribers even if like what 50 percent of those actually watch my content 75 people get one person to subscribe or 75 subscribers my target at the minute is 200 subscribers by the end of the year hopefully we can break that and we can go for 300 but i'm not going too optimistic 200 by the end of the year, so 50 subscribers. If 50 of my subscribers, which is a third, get one person to subscribe, one of their friends, show them and they like the content and they subscribe, we can get to 200. So come on guys, let's do this. But anyway, I'm back. Enjoy the future of this channel. Enjoy the content. Uh, let me know down below what you thought of this video. Um, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, if you have any comments, if you just want to say hi because I'm back, I will leave some com uh, some links down below in the description for uh, mental health um, charities and, and resources and things like that and to deal with loss because I do think it's important and I do think we should have a big talk on it at some point but now is maybe necessarily not the time. Um, but yeah, thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.